Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, we're here as part of the INWED 2021 celebrations. You've been nominated by your colleagues as being an engineering hero, so congratulations. Um, so I thought perhaps we could start by you telling me a little bit about your area of work. Yes, yeah, so my main area of research work um, is related to separation processes and to how we can separate uh, different components in a mixture, normally a fluid mixture, from each other. So it's a bit like, uh, you know, Rabina and water or gin and tonic. Is it possible to separate those individual components from each other? Uh, and if so, how can we actually do that? Um, and adding to that challenge that we have in the problems we're looking at is that we, we don't know what all of the components actually are in the mixture that we need to separate. Uh, and some of them also behave uh, very differently um, from each other. So that is a challenge. And from a chemical engineering point of view, it's um, the scale of the issue uh, is also quite important because it's not enough that we can do it in a test tube at the bench scale like the chemists do. We have to be able to do it at a very, very large scale for thousands of tons uh, every day. So in the work that I do related to separations, I build uh, mathematical computer models of separation processes, um, which we then optimize using computational tools to try to find either the most economical separation or the most environmentally friendly. And normally we try to, to, to do both. So the work is quite computational. So we need to have quite strong skills in chemistry and in physics to understand how the components actually work. Uh, and we also need to know quite a bit about maths and computing to be able to build uh, the, the computational models so that we can describe the behavior in terms of equations and then solve those equations to get the answer that we need. Wow, sounds very impressive. Uh, thank you. Could you perhaps explain how that relates to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals? Yeah, so in terms of the sustainability goals, the work that I do uh, supports two of the main areas. Uh, one is related uh, to climate action, because we try to make um, industrial separations more sustainable and more environmentally friendly. So a lot of focus goes into using uh, less energy, better materials, etc. And the other part of my work, because I've got quite a, a wide research portfolio, is looking at um, global health, so good health and well-being, uh, in terms of coming up with efficient and good separation methods for the pharmaceutical industry, so in developing uh, drugs that, that we all need, including vaccines. Wow, amazing. Thank you. Um, and, and what is it that you really enjoy about your work and research? What's your favourite part? So what I love most about my research is that I feel it makes a difference. Um, it makes a difference to how quickly a new drug can become available and how effective it will be. Uh, and also in terms of um, how much we can improve, say, a large scale chemical process, which perhaps historically has been quite polluting and not very sustainable. How can we improve that so that we, we really minimize the impact that it has on the environment? Um, most of what we do, because it is research, has never been done before. So being able to find solutions to such difficult and challenging problems, uh, that's pretty cool and uh, very rewarding. Um, I also get to work with a lot of very, very brilliant people um, and the team working that is involved in solving these kind of very big problems that are very complex. They need the skills of people with very, very different backgrounds. And it, it takes a long time, often years, to solve these problems. That, that's really great. So it's, it's a science on one side, but it's also the people that I'm working with on the other that, that I really enjoy. Yeah, sounds amazing. And um, so you've been nominated as being an engineering hero. Do you have an engineering hero yourself or heroine? Is there something or someone that inspired you to want to become an engineer? So I think thinking back, um, my, my dad uh, was an aeronautics engineer uh, and he actually worked on rockets with NASA in the early 60s, so before the moon landing. So he inspired me to some extent in terms of engineering uh, and in terms of bravery and taking on something really new and, and challenging. 
Um, I also had a really good chemistry teacher in high school and he made that topic really very alive and very, very exciting. But I think most important for me in terms of my choices was my mum. Um, she worked as a secretary, but she constantly told me that I could do whatever I wanted and whatever I set my mind to, that I was clever, I was invincible. So yeah, sort of that became the the hero that I, I could do whatever I wanted. Um, and I've been a chemical engineer for over 30 years now and I still love it. So it, uh, it, it was the right choice, I think, for me. Yeah, sounds like you had some really inspiring role models. And um, finally, what advice would you give a young woman today who wanted to enter into a STEM related field? So I think STEM related fields uh, are perfect for women who are interested in science or computing or maths, the combination of those. Uh, but above all, for those who are just interested in solving problems and in coming up with solutions to global challenges to, to benefit mankind, whether that is in terms of sustainability, climate change, better energy solutions, smart materials, digitalization, all of that needs chemical engineers uh, in order to, to get a better and more sustainable world. Uh, and it's really great to be a part of something like that. Um, whether it's, you know, in terms of women working in STEM, I think, let's face it, uh, the only time that a man might be preferred over a woman uh, is in terms of pure strength or brute force. Um, because they tend to be physically stronger than us. But in all other respects, I think a woman could do the job just as well, and maybe even better than a man. Um, women are generally very good at identifying and solving problems. They're very good team players, and it's exactly the type of skills that we need in engineering. And, and STEM is a great career. It's very diverse, it's very transferable, it's very meaningful. So it, it it really is a perfect job, uh, I feel. Very, very suitable for young women. Amazing advice. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining me today.